Hey there, my name is Petra. Welcome to Tech Condo. Today we're going to talk about a use case, and the use case is all around this product right here. It's a LiveView Solo Pro. LiveView did send this unit to me for reviewing purposes, but they will not see this video up front, and the uh, thoughts that you will hear in this video are strictly my own. So with that out of the way, let's talk about that use case because the use case is really dear to my heart. Um, it's a charity event that we held a week before Christmas and the charity was regarding um, to provide toys to kids that live in poverty. Really, really cool. What we did is that we built up a pop-up radio studio and a stage in a theater so that people could actually come and visit us, provide money, uh, request uh, uh, music on, on the radio uh, for, for money, of course. And uh, and also, you you know, hear local artists play live music, which was, you know, always great. It was a real cross-media event on TV, radio, social, and it was at, from 8 a.m. in the morning till 11 p.m., three days in a row. Really, really cool. Now, that being said, until now, we didn't really use the Live View Solo for this, even though, of course, you can, because standard the use case of the Live View is, of course, streaming to Facebook, to, to YouTube, to Twitch. Uh, but we did it a little bit differently, and that's where this use case comes into play. We actually use it for remote interviews. We actually had a run-and-gun reporter that went to libraries, uh, schools, um, markets, and uh, with the intent, of course, to uh, talk about why this is so important, why this, this this charity is so important, but also to to get money, to get money for that charity event. What we did was that we actually had this live view unit that you see right here. We did put it in a backpack because it was raining throughout the day a little bit, but this is the way that it look, looked like. And we did add this uh, live view connect these modems and also LRT and the streaming tools were also enabled. And that is really cool because uh, the LRT enabled us to use something that is a standard for our uh, TV production, that is SRT, um, which is great. This is a first for us to have an SRT live view, and um, that would enable us to stream from the live view unit to a mist server in the clouds as a decoupling point, and from that mist server towards the OB uh, trailer so that we could bring it into our production. It was really, really, really cool that that's now possible. It was actually really easy to set this SRT up. You you just connect to the uh, Live View portal, for, uh, then you uh, go to destinations, you navigate to SRT, you fill in your uh, host name, your port number, uh, your passphrase, etc. And before you know it, you have connection, which is great, but you do need to have that LRT connection. Otherwise, it will not work. At least that is what we have figured out until now. It was really, again, cool that there was also a streaming tool in there as well. We actually didn't use it that much, but we did use it for one very important thing, and that was the splash screen, or be right back screen, as we call it. It's basically a, uh, a screen that you'll see when you lose connection. And uh, you, typically you see be right back, but what we actually did was we wanted to make it more positive. We will have connection soon. <laughs> it's just a way of saying it a little bit differently, but basically it's the same thing. And that was really, really cool because if the, by any chance the connection was lost, we would have that, uh, that, that splash screen. It didn't work out. It didn't happen. And that's actually one of the things that I really like about this live use solo Pro is that the connectivity was really, really well, better than my my own LiveView Solo. Um, we didn't get any issues, and even places where we typically didn't get enough bandwidth with the LiveView Solo, with the LiveView Solo Pro, we had enough bandwidth to have a good signal so that we could bring the message across, which was great. Next to that, and this is even a really important one, is that it brought a lot of confidence for us because also the battery was able to uh, go the whole day without any problems. It was really, really cool. 
And then uh, last but not least, the tools that I just uh, talked about, that splash screen, even though it didn't work for us because it didn't happen, it was it gave us some confidence that we didn't have to think about it. We didn't have to be very quickly uh, during a uh, production, which is great. About those tools, uh, of course, we only scratched the surface there. There will be a separate video on that tool, uh, those streaming tools uh, later on at Tech Condo. Um, but this is roughly the, what I wanted to, to talk about to you today. I wish you the best and see you next time. Bye-bye.